Hi everybody, another episode of Pink Chow's Garage and we're going to be doing some fender rolling today as uh, for today's new DIY. I have here a special guest, Lexus. On here. We just did his uh, Mark IV GLI, that sexy baby. Uh, we just rolled his fenders, uh, so we're going to teach you how to do it. We're going to be doing it on Filbert uh, today since uh, I had an accident with mine. But we'll show you that. So this is Pinchao's Garage and let's get to work. For today's DIY, like I was saying, is for fender rolling, and this is why we're going to roll the fenders. We had a little accident when I aired out, and we turned the wheel, so we're going to fix that today. Um, so we have this uh, fender roller that I borrowed from my friend um, Alex and uh, Ray Ray. I don't know where they got it from, but it's called the uh, One Big Outer Outlet, whatever, and then this is where they got it from fender rolling tool spent about like 75 bucks I believe comes with the roller uh, a little tool to bend the fenders if you actually messed them up uh, so we're gonna show you what to do I have a heat gun already so you're gonna need a heat gun the roller and a little bending tool and I'll show you all that when we get to that um, first things first jack up your car take the wheels off make sure you put a jack stand on it and then go from there all right, so once the wheel is off, your car is on the jack stand, you're going to get here to the point where you see the damage here. So what we need to do first is heat it up. <clears throat> so you need your heat gun. Hurry. And get this sucker really nice and warm. Oh, almost too hot, but not too hot. Uh, don't burn it. Move it back and forth, nice and slow, when you're doing this. Point the gun away and put your hand on there. If it's not hot yet, keep going. Uh, do this for about a minute or two. And then with your fender roller kit, you get this little tool right here. Once this is hot, the reason why we got to heat this up, it keeps the paint from cracking and it keeps the fender from like rolling incorrectly um, when you're actually going to roll this I have, I'm not putting the fender roller on yet I want to do I want to bend this back slightly with the, the little tool here and then we're going to roll the fender afterwards so get this nice and hot So now that's nice and warm. Now this goes on here, and then you grab, and then you just bend it in if you can. There you go. You can see I bent that back in. Now the reason for this when you do the roller you want to try to get that line <coughs> to match back up to the old line so you can roll it in nicely so now that's done see my paint's cracking here because of how it, of how this was pulled so we got to be careful with that your next step here is to take out the two torxes that are on top 
because if you don't take them out and you start rolling the fenders, it's going to make a little divot on the on the fender itself. And you have like a little nipple on there. So those two come out. Now, depending on how you do it, you can leave it in there or you can cut it out. It's up to you guys. I'm just going to leave it in there. It won't bother me. So the next thing is to actually mount your roller. So it comes in pieces. So you want, first you want to get this piece in here first. You're using your lug nuts. If you can. This one have a weird issue mounting. We gotta figure this out first. You want to get them on there and nice and snug so the roller doesn't move and mess up anything. You don't need to put all of them in there, just enough to get the roller actually on. We figured this out because we were trying to get like a bunch of them on there. Didn't need to, it just needs to go on. Once it's on, that's pretty much it. Now, uh, you got to get it out of gear. Let me turn off this heater. So once you get this, unlock your your what's it called? Um, I can't even think about it right now. Sorry, guys. Take your car out of gear. There you go. Lock your steering wheel. Next thing is, there's two holes here. I'm going to be using the back one. So you slide this sucker over. And then there's a pin here. Come on. There we go. Get that in there. Okay, now there's a nut here. That goes inside this guy right here. And then pretty much you gotta thread it all the way down there. Now every every uh, wheel um, or fender roller is a little different, so it might not be the same process for you guys. But I'm giving you the process for the one that my buddy Ray has. All right. Once you have that, now make sure you. Tighten that lug nut, I mean that nut, all the way to the bottom. That's what's going to help us apply tension to the actual lip. And you'll see here, um, let's see if I can show you guys. If you guys see like my, um, the roller's not going to actually get there. So we have to change the angle. You see this? This offers an angle change. And then you pretty much turn it so it gets closer. To where we need it. So 
we need it right there. Now, once you start feeling tension right there, you leave it alone. Get your gun and heat this up. It's going to be loud, so bear with it, guys. Now, we got to put get this hot like I was saying earlier so we don't crack the paint my my paints already cracking here and this is because of the damage we did already uh, prior to rolling the fender but I'm trying you guys so you guys don't damage your fender if you guys have clean fenders now the only place you need to roll the fender to is to here you don't have to go all the way down about here the same distance over here uh, the reason for it, that's the only area where the tire actually touches. Anything further out, you're really just going to end up pulling the fender versus rolling them. Now, this tool will allow you to pull the fender too. If you guys want to pull them out a little bit more, get a little bit more space, get that wheel tuck if you guys are trying to get that go that route. It's all up to you. I'm not pulling my fenders. I like the lines on these cars. So, I'm leaving that alone. So heat this up, keep heating it up, nice and hot, take your time, the hotter the better, just don't burn it, and that's the catch, because you can burn these pretty easily, because the paint's not very like meant to be super hot, so. You touch it. If it's still warm, just keep going. And then what you're gonna do is move it left and right, wiggle it left and right, just like that. I'm gonna move the heat gun out of the way. Now you're trying to move it left and right, shimmy. Okay. Right here is going to be pretty hard because this is where that little um, Torx is and the same over here, you have the other Torx. But you'll notice I'm not doing very much in the sense of bending it yet because we have to do it one stage at a time. So do one rotation and then go. Now this is a gradual uh, bend. So remember, we don't want to damage anything. We want to keep it from damaging. Remember I said that gradual. And you'll notice the fender to start bending already up, which is what you want. Now that noise that you're hearing is just the fender liner moving around. Sometimes it's going to be a little annoying, you just got to keep it going. That's what that tool is for too, so you can bend it with it a little bit more, so you can get that sucker to go up. That way you can bend it with it a little more. My paint's gonna crack since it's already cracked, so I'm not really caring for much as much for it because my shit's already broken. But I wanna stop it from making it worse. You 
this side's bending in, but this side does not want to go. It's really weird. So we're going to have to loosen it and drop it down and maybe change the angle a bit more. Maybe make it a little bit more aggressive. That way it bends it in. And then there we go. Heat it up again. Like I said, my paint's cracking because it was already cracking prior to this. But now you guys see it, and now the fender's nice and flat. We just gotta fix this little piece right here. I'm gonna go probably a little bit more on this side, and then leave it alone. Because this side's not really that big of a concern. It's over here where, it hits the, where the tire hits the most. Loosen it up again, work my way down, and now change the angle, because now I'm going to adjust for this side. Now this is all gone, nice and clean again, get the heat gun, and now heat the rest of this area up. Alright, now that's good. I said go about an inch or two. Tighten that sucker up and turn it. Bend it. Tighten it up again. And remember, you're trying to do this as smooth as possible without damaging as much stuff as possible. That's it. Fender's rolled. It fixed my little bump that I had right here. Yeah, my paint cracked because, like I was trying to tell you guys before, uh, my paint was already cracking because of the incident I had before. But now it's all all done. Now you just gotta. Now you just have to pull the fender, push the fender liner back in. You know, so it holds it in place. Just 
pay attention down below. That should be it, guys. Repeat the process on the other fender. You know, touch your hand, put your hand underneath it. If it's nice and flat, you did it right. That's a roll fender. Not too shabby. I'm not going to say it's going to be really good, but it's going to be better than what I had before since I damaged it already. But for you guys, if you have OEM paint and you don't want to crack it, do it. Take your time. Heat this up as not hot as you can so the paint does not crack. Um, like me, since I, I damaged it when I turned the wheel when the car was aired out, the paint already got uh, a bubble in here, what we call like a stress mark. Um, so it was going to damage anyways once I bend it. So nothing I could have done to avoid that. But for you guys, since you see my problem and you see how it happened, now you guys have a chance of um, fixing that ahead of time before it actually becomes a problem. So thanks again. This is Pinchao's Garage. I'm Pinchao. Peace out. And as always, break, fix, and repeat.